Hey everybody, so now that you got your first Pokemon, let's describe the app interface. So if you look on the bottom right, there's a list of Pokemon that are in your area. Now sometimes this list won't contain any Pokemon, but don't worry, if you keep walking, you'll find some. Next on the bottom left is your character and the level and your name. If you click on the character, there's a list of options you have. It shows you your name, your current XP, your current level, your current Pokecoins and teams, and all the achievements that you currently have going. Next, if you click the Pokeball in the middle of the screen, it'll give you a wide variety of options. On the very top is a Pokedex. If you click that, it'll show you all the Pokemon you encountered and some that you encountered and didn't even catch. If you click the Pokeball again and go to Shop, you'll see items that you could buy to help you in the game. So you could buy Pokeballs, Incense, Eggs, Lures, Incubators, Bags, and Pokemon upgrading stations. Now we'll talk about this in a later video. If you click the Pokeball again and you go to items, there's a list of those items that you have in your storage. So when you go to Pokestops, which we'll explain later, you gain these items and you could use them in the game to help you. And finally to the left are the Pokemon themselves. And this is a list of all the Pokemon you've caught. Now, if you click on the top where it says eggs, these eggs are basically Pokemon that you hatch when you walk. Now, you can't drive in a car and hatch these eggs because you have to be going under, I believe it's 10 miles an hour for these eggs to hatch. So you have to be walking or even on a bike very slow. But once you hatch those eggs, you'll get some really cool Pokemon that aren't available in your area. One last thing is if you click the Pokeball and go to the very top right, that settings button. So in the settings button, you have a couple options in here. You could set the music on or off, sound effects and vibration on or off. Now battery saver will be unchecked for you. Make sure you check this because Pokemon Go kills your battery. And having this on will allow you to save battery while you're playing the game. So make sure this is checked. Also, you can change your nickname and report an issue if you want to or sign out of your account. So now that you have all the information about the interface, let's move on to the next video.